In this video, we are going to add Google Photos as a photo frame on our magic mirror without the mirror. We're going to pick up right where we left off. If you missed the last video, please go back and watch it. I will link to it below. It is a step-by-step -step how to start from scratch installing magic mirror on your Raspberry Pi 3B or 3B+. Where we left off, we have a screen, a dark screen with the date and the time on it. And today we're adding Google Photos. And what's really interesting about this project is that you can change the photos dynamically right from your smartphone. And I will demo that today. Let's get started. This is what our screen looked like. I hit Control M to minimize that screen. And then in my terminal, I will hit Control C and that will stop the magic mirror. We are going to use a GitHub repository for Google Photos uh, created by E-O-U-L-A, apologize, I can't pronounce your name. And we are going to follow the instructions of how to add Google Photos to Magic Mirror uh, from his GitHub page. We're gonna follow these instructions. In the terminal window, we need to CD into the modules folder of our Magic Mirror. From where we are right now, we're in Magic Mirror, and then we need to uh, CD into modules, and there are hardly any modules, so we need to get clone his repository here. I'm going to select, and then right-click copy, and then right-click paste, and hit enter, and that will copy all of his files over. Then I'll CD into the directory we just created by copying all of those files. Right-click, paste, Enter, done, and then we're going to do an npm install. Next, we need to go into the Google API console, and you do need to log in as if you were logging into your Gmail account. I'm going to right-click, open link in new tab, and it'll take me right into that console.developers.google.com. By the way, if you do need this repository, I will link to it in the description field below, so you can just go straight to it. And you can see one of my previous projects. I will also link to that below. It's called the Photo Booth Project. It's the um, only project on this account right now. Wait, I do want to create a new project for this. I'll show you how to do that from scratch. So you want to click this down arrow next to Project, and then you want to click New Project. And then we want to give our project a name. I'm going to name my project Magic Mirror 123, and I'm going to click Create. I want to be on my Magic Mirror project, so let me click on Magic Mirror. And I'm searching for the Photos API, and it's right here, Photos API. And all I have to do is click Enable. And then in order to use this API, I need to create credentials. I'll hit Create Credentials. I've hit Credentials here on the left-hand side. I'm going to click Create Credentials. I want an OAuth client ID. First, it says to create OAuth ID, you must create a consent screen. So I'm going to click configure consent screen and I need to decide on an application name. It's going to be magic mirror. And then I'm just going to keep on scrolling down. I'm going to hit save. And then now that I've created that consent screen, now I'm back to creating OAuth client ID. Uh, what kind of application? I'm going to click other and then I'm going to leave it other client one and I'm going to click create. And now my OAuth client has been created. I'm going to click OK. And what I need is I need a JSON file. I need to download that JSON file. I'm going to click download. And now I'm downloading a JSON file. And I'm going to open my file manager. And here's my file manager. I'm going to double click on downloads. And I see that JSON file. What do I do with that JSON file? Let's go back to the tutorial here. And it says I need to rename it credentials.json. I'm going to copy that. Go back to downloads and then right click and I'm going to rename it credentials. And make sure you spell credentials correctly. That is important. Now where do I need to put this file? I need to put it under my magic mirror, my modules, and Google Photos. So I'm going to drag and drop it right into Google Photos. And there it goes. All right, let's go back to our tutorial. And that was the next step was to drag and drop it into Google Photos. And now we're ready to run node, auth, and test from the Google Photos folder. I'm going to copy, then I'm going to go back in here. I make sure I'm in the Google Photos folder on my terminal, and I'm going to paste, and I'm going to run a command, and I'm going to need to authenticate with that OAuth authentication I just created. 
Now this pops a pop-up window. It says, what account do I want to use? I want to use my account that I'm signed into already. And then I'm, it wants to access my account. I'm going to allow Magic Mirror to access my photos library. Yes, I want to do that. I'm going to click allow. And then here is my code. I'm going to hit copy and then go back to my terminal and right click and hit paste. This is the secret code I need. And it gives me a list of the albums that I've already created in this account. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to hit control C. I need to create an album on my phone here. I need the album that I'm going to show pictures of. And I'm going to go to Google Photos and I'm going to create a new album. So I'm going to hit plus new album. I'm going to add a title. I'm going to call this Magic Mirror. That way I know that these photos are going on my Magic Mirror. And I can automatically add photos of people and pets or I can select my photos. I'm going to select photos and I'm going to select this, this photo here and then let's see this photo here. Okay, I'm going to hit add. Now selected two photos of myself and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to run that node auth and test. It's not going to make me authenticate again. I've already authenticated, but it is going to give me my new album ID. And that's what I need for this. Let's see. So it's the first one here. It's Magic Mirror. And I'm going to copy uh, this album ID. And then I need to save it somewhere temporarily. So I'm going to hit Accessories, Text Editor, and I'm going to paste this album ID. Now let's go back to the tutorial. And it says, okay, you're going to have a consent. I consented, and then I got the album ID. All right, excellent. So now I need to remember the al album ID. Next, I need to add this code into my configuration. I'm going to copy it. And now I need to go into the configuration. Where is the configuration? It is in Magic Mirror config, config.js. I'm going to open with Genie. And I'm going to, and you see the configuration here. So last week, in the last tutorial, we commented out all of the other configurations. We commented out the calendar and the weather and everything. Now we're ready to start adding things back. I'm going to go here and I'm going to control V and I'm going to add the configuration. Okay, so first thing in the configuration is the module is Google Photos. We've agreed on that. Next is the position. Okay, I don't want top right as my position. What position do I want? Hmm. Let's go into the GitHub page for the Magic Mirror overall. And we're going to scroll down and we are going to use the resources in here. And there's table contents configuration. That's what we want to go to. So it gives us the different values for configuration. And I'm going to scroll down until I see position. What are the different positions that are available? It's top left, top center. I am going to select full screen below. I'm going to copy full screen below and then go back to my configuration file here and I'm going to paste full screen below. Next I need my photo albums ID. Now you should be familiar with that. We just got that and I put that into this copy my photo ID and I'm going to paste. Okay and then the refresh interval and the scan interval I'm going to leave that as the default from the developer. The sorting is you can sort in time, which means it, it will give you the newest image first and then go down to older images. There's also reverse, which I'm assuming would be the reverse of that. And there's also random, where you can just have a random photo. I'm going to leave it time for now. The next most important thing to update is the show width and the show height. Now, that is based on your particular screen size. Now, this screen that I'm using here is a 10-inch non-touchscreen HDMI monitor. Now those dimensions are 1025 by 762 pixels. Those dimensions are specific to your screen. Now I'm using a 10 inch non-touchscreen HDMI monitor and these dimensions are 1024 by 768 pixels is what I'm going to use. So if you're using a 7 inch touchscreen that's probably going to be 800 by 600 but you do need to understand your particular setup and put in the correct number of pixels based on that. And then the original width, original height, honestly, I did not see a big difference depending on what I typed in. So I'm just going to set it to the same. And then the mode, we're going to leave the same as cover. Let me fix my syntax error, overwrote the comma here. Yeah, I'm going to hit save and we will restart our magic mirror. Now I'm going to do that from the terminal window by running the command CD magic mirror and display npm start, hit enter, and hopefully our magic mirror will start up. And here it is.
uh, our magic mirror has immediately started and it should go through the pictures. It does take a while for the pictures to show because of the, the refresh interval is not uh, super fast. If you're noticing something on the screen, it is a little bit harder now that the background is white to see the date and the time. And let's see if we can improve that. The way that we improve that is through CSS, updating our CSS, cascading style sheets. Hopefully you're familiar with that. This is not going to be a full tutorial on cascading style sheets, but I will show you a few tips and tricks that I learned in order to make the date more visible. Okay, there it is. Now you see that the picture has changed and it is going through a slideshow of the photos that I selected on my smartphone for Google Photos album. Now I'm going to hit Control M to minimize again. I'm going to hit Control C on my screen to stop the Google Photos and let's work on getting the date a little bit more visible. I'm going back to my file manager and I'm going to click on the CSS folder and I'm going to see that there's a main CSS and a custom CSS. I'm going to open the main CSS in, in Genie and then do the same with custom CSS. Now Here's the key. I don't want to update main CSS. I want to do all my updates in custom CSS in case I make a mistake. I don't want to make a permanent change. What I want to do is look at color, and that is the color of the font. So there's color um, in the body, pound AAA. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to move that into custom CSS and paste. Okay, so I, I found that color. I'm going to go through this main CSS font and see where I see more colors. So I see default styles, um, dimmed, bright, small, and I'm going to copy all of these over and paste. So now I've got uh, color, dimmed, normal, bright. Now let's see if I go through and change all of the colors from white or light colors to dark colors. Um, what's the darkest color we, that we can get? It's black and its hex code is 000. I'm just going to change everything to 000. 000, 000, 000, okay. And then I'm going to save my custom CSS. Then we're going to go back into the terminal and we restart our magic mirror and see what it looks like now. Now we're, I've changed all the text from gray and white to all black. That didn't completely solve our problems, to be honest with you. Uh, on a white background, it looks great, but then you know my dark hair, you can't see in the 2018. And if it's a dark background, it's harder to see that black text. What should I do? Well, I mean, other than writing a script that says if it's a dark background, do white text, or if it's a light background, do black text. We're not going to do that here. I'm not that advanced. Control M, Control C to get out of this. Let's think about how we can create a background for our text itself. And I saw this on somewhere on the GitHub page under issues and I found the code there and what it is is you want to add a module code specific. So I'm going to copy the module code that I found on uh, this GitHub page into my custom CSS. So let's keep on going here. I'm going to paste module clock. So on the clock module, which is what we're working on, that has the time and the date on it, we want the background color to be white which is 255, 255. That's RGB colors is what they're showing there. And then the transparency, we don't want to just a big white block. We want the transparency to be a little bit uh, medium. So I'm going to change that to 0.5. That's a half transparency, 50% transparency. And then we want to put a radius around our time date in that module there. So I'm going to do eight pixels, border radius and eight pixels of padding. That way it's not all the way to the edge and I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go back to my terminal and rerun the same command. We're going to rerun magic mirror and see what the change is now. And there you go. You see now it has a 50% transparent white background we've added and with our dark text. It's going to be a lot easier to see the date time and also see your pictures. And I do want to mention that you can update the photos on your photo album without having to reboot or restart the magic mirror in any fashion. I'm going to just show you on my phone here. I created this magic mirror album with two of my photos. I'm going to add a photo now with that plus photo album and then select a photo of my choice. Just 
randomly hit add. Now there's a new photo. Now when we do go through a refresh and go through all the photos again, this photo will come up and it just automatically does that without having to restart our system. So you see we're going through the photos right now and then the next time it iterates through the photos, it will pull this new photo from my album of Magic Mirror. I hope you found this tutorial fun and interesting. Join me next time as we will add current weather and the weather forecast through the Open Weather API to this photo frame. This has been Magic Mirror without the mirror. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Bye.